everyone. I'm going to wave and say hi. It is Teresa from Teresa's Silhouette Spot for All Things Art. I'm trying out something new. In case you haven't noticed, um, you can't see me. I'm trying out my overhead camera. And we shall see um, how this goes. So any feedback you have, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I don't know how my lighting is going to be. I don't know how my angle is going to be. Um, so, like I said, I'm going to paint. I've already base coated this. We're chitty chatter a little bit. And um, you guys can give me some feedback. I think I might even be able to see what's going on here on my iPad. Yes, I can. So, if I move, actually, I can't see on my iPad. I thought I could. Anyway, so let's see what happens. I'm going to paint. You guys can pop in. Hopefully, I'll be able to um, see your comments. I'm going to start out with some white paint. So, I cannot see on my iPad. Um, so, we'll just figure it out. Figure it out as we go. Oh, but I know you can hear me banging on some paint, right? So I'm just getting out some white paint. And we're going to uh, get started. I'm doing some vases. I don't know if you can see, but I sketched in very lightly some jars. I wish I could see on my iPad. Give me one second to play with this and see what the deal is. There we go. Do I have to hit play? I don't know. Because when I hit play, it goes black. It's kind of stuck right now. All right. So. What is new, everyone? Anybody got anything new going on they want to share? The hard part when painting glass, a well, hard part for me anyway, is to figure out um, what goes in front and what goes behind. What you can see And what you can't see. So I'm going to try and get this right as we paint along. Right now I'm just outlining the jars. I base coat because I always feel like Base coating is not that fun to watch. But maybe outlining six glass jars isn't that fun to watch either. See how I use my little pinky to guide me? So when I make the straight line going down, that's why it also helps that your paint is nice and dry. I'm gonna try this again. I can see the picture, but then it goes black on my iPad. I was hoping to be able to see um, comments as I painted. Oops. The problem, another problem. I should be talking about all these problems. Um, different jars, so then they don't have to be so symmetrical. If I painted six different vases, they all wouldn't have to look alike, right?
but as you can see, I went off a little bit here. We're gonna make it work okay so I got that part done now <clears throat> oddly enough I'm gonna have to go in and add the stems because technically the stems are within you know the jar And obviously they're just going to be like little bud vases. They're not going to have, you know, not each vase is not going to have this huge bouquet of flowers in it. I think it would just be too many. I want it to look a little um, sparse. Actually, at this point, I don't even know what kind of flowers I'm going to put on the tops of each of these. It's probably a good idea to have a little bit of a plan before you get started, but that's okay. We'll figure it out as we go. Let me use a little brush to run out of paint real quick. I'm trying to keep my lines nice. Okay, so that's that for now. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. I'm gonna see what's going on with my iPad. Oh, it might be working now. Oh, it actually it started, oh no, here we go. I have it now. Am I gonna be able to see comments? We shall see. Oh, I have to lower the volume though. You're gonna be able to hear me twice. There we go. So how's that? So now I'm going to get back to my little white brush. And I'm going to go back in and just um, highlight the sides of the jars a little bit. I really like the way it looks when you paint glass and you give it that see-through look. Um, but I also find it a little challenging. But it's good to challenge ourselves once in a while. I'm going to go in and show you how I do the rim around the top when I'm sure the green is perfectly dry.
What do you guys think of this new overhead angle for watching me paint? Feel free to leave your comments in the bottom. I'm trying to see if I can see comments. Oh, there, no, that's not it. I don't know. Like I said, we're figuring it out here. I feel like I haven't painted with you guys in such a long time. I miss my girls. They're still in Costa Rica, but it's uh, nice coming home and being able to not worry about anything and being able to paint if I feel like it. Or not if I don't. Guess I'm a little bit more quiet when I don't have a plan, right? How's it looking so far, you guys? I wish I could see the comments. I'm gonna have to ask somebody how I do that. Oh, maybe like that? Nope, I see, all I see is um, Laura. Hi, Laura, thanks for watching. Um. Lisa, Laura, hi. Oh, thanks, I like the simplistic design too, Laura. Um, sometimes it gets uh, too busy for me. I just wanna. Not have like so much going on. Did a really cute shirt just like that yesterday. I don't know if you saw it. Oh, did I post it? Oh, I don't think I posted it. I think I shared it in another group. Just a real simple um, heat transfer vinyl shirt. And it actually says, live simply. I'll post it for you guys later. And uh, it has four little hearts going across the top. It was cute. I had a t-shirt laying around. I said, well, let me try this. I like experimenting. So let me know, I know I keep saying that, if uh, you like this angle, what you think that we could do to make it better, this is working for you guys to be able to see me better.
I'm going back over these because I want to make sure my pencil lines are covered. I actually, I didn't freehand these bottles. I traced them on with this little template that I made. I mean, it's actually shorter too, but I figured for the size of the canvas, it would be too short. So I extended a little bit and traced it on. Okay. I think my green is dry. Yes. So. To me, these are kind of like ball jars. So I'm adding these extra lines to the top to make it look like the screw cap. Need the mouth open on the jar. I may or I may not go in and add watermarks. We'll see. I want to get to painting some flowers. Okay. So I'm going to stop playing around with my jars right now. And I'm going to get to flowers. Can you guys see? Am I off a little bit? How are we doing okay? Can I see comments? Hi, Susan. It's nice to see you. I was so sad I missed the other night. I forgot what I was doing, that I couldn't be on with Donna. So I, got, I took two of the four classes in January, and I'm... Supposed to do the wildflowers. I'm really excited about that. Um, I know I have to figure out how you guys can see my smiling face, plus see me paint. But I feel like I have, um, all kinds of uh, electronics going on here. I have my laptop because I'm waiting for a meeting I'm supposed to be in to start. I'm trying to see comments on my iPad and then I have you guys on camera. Need more paint. Okay. 
course, some of the flowers are gonna cross over each other. Just, you know, how it works. You're gonna have the flowers next to each other in vases. They're gonna touch, they're gonna hit. So like this one here, I'll come back to that when I'll keep doing my um, daisies here. But when I decide what I'm gonna do, maybe I'll skip this bunch and I'll go to this bunch. And really then any one of these arrangements these simple arrangements. You could take, this could be one itself, this can be a painting itself, the three, whatever. I'm gonna try and stay within the same um, color families, because I think that'll look nice. I might have to turn a little bit. Sorry, people. When I paint, I have to turn. You should see sometimes I have my canvas, my board, all upside down, all different ways. It's crazy. My yellow is looking a little opaque. I'm going to try and add a little bit more white to it. Is it opaque the right way? No, I think translucent is the right word I was looking for. I'm adding a little bit of white to my yellow, and then I'm gonna go back in and double load my brush with the yellow I just made and the white. And so I can get a little bit more. That's a little better with the yellow. everybody um, these flowers I'm working on are part of a series of um, flowers that uh, I've learned from Donna Dewberry the creator of the one stroke decorative painting technique very talented and wonderful woman I love her passion for painting and uh, I like to share that passion as well with you guys. Obviously, um, I aspire to, I aspire to be half as good as Donna is, and if that ever happens, I'll be very very happy. But I try and just um, measure myself against myself. I'm always trying to learn. I'm always trying to get better. Um, I challenge myself. And if I can paint something better today than I painted yesterday, I'm happy. Now I'm going to go to some little purples. I'm gonna do some cute little five petal, petal, five petal flowers 
and some purples. When I go back here, I'm going to do these in purple and yellow as well. But I'm skipping around a little bit so I can let what I've already done dry. Paint all over my plate in crazy ways. I think I have to make these a little bigger for this. Board. So I'm just going to go over there and make them a little bigger. You'll see later on, I'm going to add some um, baby's breath fillers. Maybe go back in and add some uh, little buds too. One of the beauties, like I've said before, of one stroke painting is the way you load the brush, where you double load the brush with at least two colors of paint and you blend shade and highlight all at once in one stroke. Hence, Donna Dewberry's decorative one stroke painting. Okay, I'm gonna go back to these now. I think these are dry and I'm gonna show you how I use the colors. Okay, so now I'm taking, I have the yellow and the white, I have the yellow and the white, a little bit opposite. Now I'm going to add over here, yellow and purple. There we go. So, we have four of our jars done. Well, not done, done, but the main stuff done so far. Now what, let me see, let me see what else can we do. I'm gonna add a little uh, magenta to the mix here. And I need some more white. Get out some nice fresh white. I've muddied up my white with the yellow and the purple. 
Oops. Hey, Teresa. Um, I don't know if you're still on, Teresa, but yes, I am planning on doing something like this for paint night. I know a lot of people like wood, um, but there are two designs, this design and the Valentine design I did the other night um, with the jars that said love and the X and the O's. I thought those were, um, that one and this one would be really cute for a paint night. I know a lot of people like doing the wood projects, but I would definitely do something like this for a paint night too. my phone. Who else has a house phone? Anyone? Sorry, guys. I don't have to pick it up because I'm sure it's the IRS or Social Security is going to be about to arrest me or um, the warranty on my 10-year-old car is up or my grandson has been arrested and I have to send him money in Guatemala. Who knows? You know, we only get uh, phone calls on our cell phones. I don't know why I still have a house phone. Oh, I know. It's part of the package. Huh. So I'm in my little centers. I'm going to go in and do the flowers on the end. I haven't decided what yet. You see, I'm using the back of the brush. Just put a little paint on there. Oops. I need a little bit of tan. I'm just going in with fresh, plain yellow and giving a little bit of the tips on these, um, I forget what they're called. But it's what the bees use to pollinate the flowers with. Stamens, maybe? Just going to go in and put fresh yellow on the tips of each of those. And the same with my, um, actually, no, I think I'm going to go in with a scruffy. Just 
go ahead with a little bit. I have to be careful on this one. I don't want to mess up my flower. Okay. What else do I need? Oh, need some white insides over here. I mean yellow. Sorry, yellow. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do in the last jar yet. So let's go back and add some white highlights to my glass. My paint always dries up so quick. In this office I don't know why What do you guys think so far? I'm kind of liking it. I'm going to hold it up one second so I can see it better. And then I'm going to add a little bit of leaves to my um, uh, stems. I'm going to add some baby's breath for filler figure out what I'm gonna put over here I might just duplicate um, now that I'm thinking about it I might just duplicate the daisies from the right I mean from the left left right whatever kind of make like matching bookends I knew I was going to pick up a little pink there. I'll have to go back and fix that one when I'm done. Hmm? Where's my scruffy for the middle? tonight I've been on well about 45 minutes um, and I will come back and show you what I came up with thanks for joining me everyone have a good night